wider, so I'm just going to stretch it out just a little bit. Okay, so I just pulled on it a little bit so it's a little wider, and then press on it like this. Water. So notice like out here on the corners, I lift this up. I don't want to, you know, push it down and round it. I want it to be sticking up there a bit. And then I took a little bit of the pink just to tone that yellow down a tad, like so. All right, so now I need flowers. I'm gonna take some of the white. I can use the same plunger cutter that I used earlier on the other egg. And I can put a tiny bit of water here, 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 and a doorknob. I originally did it yellow on that other one, but I think I want it white so it matches. Okay, and these, sometimes it's easier to pop them out and then use the back of the paintbrush like this to pop them on. Let's try it this way and see. No. Either way. Two on these smaller ones, three on the one on the top. I do like them to kind of go up and down and not just like this one should be a little lower since that one's higher. Oops. And then we can do our pink centers, which again, royal icing would be great. A lot quicker than rolling these little balls like I'm gonna do. Okay, now I just need some green royal icing. Okay, last step, I have some green royal icing with just a tip number two. And all I'm gonna do is go in here and I'm gonna squeeze, let it build up and then pull out in different directions. Just so it looks like, eh, kind of like little leaves or grass in there. Just a, that little bit of greenery adds a lot. Can even have some coming down like that. And then I want a little bit down here at the base, like it's coming up next to the door. And let it build up and then pull away. And there we go. Cute little egg house. You could personalize this too if you it's for somebody put their name right in here or the family's name. It'd be super cute.